Hello dear students, welcome to EPG Patshala. I am Dr. DC Saxena, Professor and Head of the Department of Food Engineering and Technology at Sant Longowal Institute of Engineering and Technology, Longowal. I am here to present the paper, Technology of Spices and Condiments. You know, ginger is an important part of the Indian cuisine as chilies. We have to discuss different products of ginger in the present module, which will be explained to you by my co-author, Ms. Kulsum Jan. Hello students, welcome to APG Patshala. I am Kulsum Jan from Sant Longwar Institute of Engineering and Technology. Today, I am going to talk about module number 25 of paper 10, Technology of Spices and Condiments. In this module, we will learn about the ginger products. Global food consumption trends are currently driving by several factors, including health, consciousness, population, growth, changing demographics, and busy lifestyles. Any products can be manufactured from ginger, like rehydrated ginger, ginger candy, ginger powder, ginger oil, and all your resins. There are some other products of ginger as well. Ginger is an important commercial crop with versatile applications. As condiment, ginger is used for flavoring in many food products like tomato sauce, ketchup, salad dressings, meat sausages, gravies, pickles, curry dishes, and many more. It's also used in many medicines as it helps digestion and absorption of food and has antiseptic properties. As far as the products are concerned, ginger products like ginger oil is developed by using steam distillation. All your resins are a blend of oil and frozen oils. Ginger candy can be prepared by selecting big sized rhizomes of low fiber content. Another important product of ginger is ginger soft drink, which is ready to serve beverage and is made with anti-inflammatory, antioxidant and anti-ulcer activity. Ginger ready to serve RTS, that is soft drink, can be prepared by selecting healthy and blemish free rhizomes. For ginger pickle, the mixture of the spices that is ajwain, black pepper, cumin seed, chili powder and citric acid at the rate of 10 gram each for 250 grams of ginger pieces should be prepared and mixed together. Products of ginger Considering the products related to ginger, it's used for the preparation of ginger oil and oleo resins. It's used in the preparation of soft drinks, alcoholic beverages, and many more products. Preserved ginger is used for the manufacture of processed food. Green ginger is used in the culinary preparations. However, other products prepared from ginger are ginger candy, ginger pickle, ginger powder, and many more. Ginger oil. As far as ginger oil is concerned, it can be prepared by steam distillation of ginger paste, which has been grounded earlier, or dried powder ginger, which is used as flavoring agent for soft drinks, ginger beer, and in food preparation. In order to get all your resin, solvent extraction technique is used but to obtain essential oil, steam distillation technique is used. Slide 6. Processing of ginger oil. Ginger oil can be prepared by steam distillation of grind paste and dried powder ginger. For oil extraction, dried rhizomes are ground to a coarse slurry, paste or powder, which are then loaded into a still 
for distillation and steam is passed through the slurry, paste or powder. This steam containing the volatile compounds is condensed with cold water and collected in separate container. For oil extraction, dry trisomes are ground to a coarse slurry, paste or powder loaded into a still for distillation and steam is passed through the slurry, paste or powder. The steam containing the volatile components is condensed with cold water and collected in separate container. The oil can be separated from the water upon cooling by a separatory funnel. Redistillation can be done to increase oil yield. Usually, oil yield obtained from dry rhizome is 1.5 to 3.5 percent on dry weight basis and 0.4 percent on green weight basis, depending upon variety of ginger used. Oleoresin is a blend of oil and resinoids. Oleoresin is obtained by extraction of dried ginger, pulverized to a coarse powder with organic solvents like ethanol and acetone. The increased prominence of oleoresin over natural spices is due to the advantage that oleoresins hold over the spice themselves. Oleoresin content range from 3.5 to 9.5 percent. In solvent extraction process, powdered samples are used, peel, unpeeled, peel ginger rhizomes, which are then treated with acetone solvent for first extraction. The solvent is then allowed to percolate the ginger sample for 48 hours before the first extract were collected. The samples are then again re-soaked with addition of acetone for another 24 hours before collecting the second set of the extract. The extract from the sample is then pooled and the solvent is removed under rotor vapor water bath. Extract is then poured in rotary evaporator flask and evaporated at 65 degrees centigrade till all the solvent is expelled. The concentrated extract that is oleoresin is then collected and stored. Now at the ginger candy. The ginger candy can be prepared by selecting big sized rhizomes of low fiber content. Ginger by its nature is considered as warming and spicy flavored herb that particularly affects the energy of the lungs and the spleen. The warming nature of ginger is reflected in the fact that ginger can be used against various illness caused by cold. Thus, ginger candy can bring welcome relief for colds and the flu or even motion sickness but is also sweet and spicy treat. It has anti-inflammatory, anti-ulcer and antioxidant activities. These rhizomes should be washed with water to remove the adhered dirt and debris. The peel should be removed with the help of wooden splinter or knives and wash thoroughly with water. After the rhizomes should be pricked properly with the help of forks so that the sugar can penetrate deep in the tissues. The pricked rhizomes should be cut into pieces of 1 to 2 cm thickness. The pieces should be boiled after almost one hour until they become soft. After boiling sufficiently, 
the ginger pieces should be removed from water and kept in shade for drying. After this, the ginger pieces should be spread in a stainless steel utensil. Have an alternate layer of sugar and ginger pieces. 1 kg ginger pieces, 1 kg sugar and kept for 24 hours. On second day, removal of the ginger pieces from sugar syrup and added 2 grams citric acid and boil the syrup until sugar strength reached up to 600 bigs. Allow the syrup to cool and ginger pieces into the syrup and keep it for 24 hours. On third day, remove the ginger pieces and add 1 gram citric acid and boil the syrup until sugar strength reaches up to 650 degree bricks. Allow the syrup to cool and add the ginger pieces into the syrup. Again keep it for 24 hours. On next day, the same process should be repeated by addition of 1 gram citric acid and boiling the syrup until the sugar strength reach up to 750 bricks. Allow the syrup to cool and add the pieces into the syrup. Keep it for 4 days in syrup. Then remove the well soak pieces from the syrup and dry it in oven at 60 degree bricks for 6 to 8 hours. These dried pieces can be coated with powdered sugar or confectioner's sugar or glucose powder by sprinkling the powder over the pieces and mix thoroughly. Fill the coated ginger candy in glass or jar and pack it in polyethylene pouches and store in a cool and dry place. Another important product of ginger is ginger soft drink which is ready to serve beverage and is made with anti-inflammatory, antioxidant and anti-ulcer activity. Ginger ale is a carbonated soft drink flavored with ginger in one or two ways. The golden style is closer to the ginger beer original and is credited to the American doctor Thompson Cantrell. The dry state, also called the pale style, is a paler drink with a much milder ginger flavor, which has been generally added to it and was credited or created by Canadian John McLean. Processing of ginger, RTS, that is ready to serve soft drink. Ready to serve soft drink can be prepared by selecting healthy and blemish free rhizomes. The process involves number first, wash the rhizomes with water and peel with the help of wooden splinters or knives. Cut into small pieces and make pulp by passing through mixer grinder by addition of little water to facilitate easy pulping. After pulping, strain the pulp and keep it for one hour for settling down the sediments at bottom. Then siphon of the clear juice and mix it with sugar syrup solution which can be prepared by addition of sugar, citric acid, water. Amount of 120 gram plus 3 gram citric acid plus 850 ml of water. Strain the sugar syrup with muslin cloth to remove the impurities from dissolved sugar and mix the ginger juice or pulp at the rate of 30 ml and then add the preservative potassium metabisulfide in amount of 40 mg per liter of the RTS. Mix all the ingredients thoroughly and fill into the bottles, then ground the cork. 
The same portals should be posterized at 85 degrees centigrade for 15 minutes and then air cooled and be kept for storage in cool and dry place. Ginger Shreds As far as the ginger shreds are considered, they can be prepared by washing and peeling the rhizomes. After peeling rhizomes should be grated into small pieces. Then grated small pieces of the ginger should be kept in the muslin cloth and squeezed slightly to remove excess juice content. Then add black salt and common salt in amount of 4% and it should be kept in oven for drying at 60 degrees centigrade for two days. Final product should be packed in polyethylene pouches and kept in a cool and dry place for use. In case of the ginger pickle, which can be prepared by washing and peeling of the rhizomes, the peeled rhizomes should be cut into smaller segments or the rectangular pieces. These pieces should be dried in shade for removal of outer moisture. The mixture of the spices that is edgewine, black pepper and cumin seeds plus chili powder and citric acids at 10 gram each for 250 grams of ginger pieces should be added. In fact, should be prepared and mixed together. After this, fill all the materials in the glass jar and keep it for sun drying up to two weeks with occasional stirring. Finally, it can be stored in the cool and dry place. As far as the chutney is concerned, a good quality and the taste can be prepared by using ginger. For the ginger rhizome to 50 grams should be washed, peeled and grind in mixer. Tamarind 250 grams, garlic 100 grams should be grind in a mixer and then grinded paste of ginger tamarind and the garlic should be mixed. The mixture should be heated to a little and add salt in amount of 100 grams. Then frying of another garlic paste that is 100 grams fenugreek powder that is 20 grams should be done in a little mustard oil 100 ml. The feed mixture of the spices should be mixed with ginger paste, sugar 500 grams and filled into glass jar. Finally, product should be stored in cool and dry place. Now, the ginger powder. It's made by pulverizing ginger to mesh size of 50 to 60. Ginger is ground to release the flavor. The fine the powder, the more the readily available the flavor and the readily dispensable in the matrix. Hence, we should make the powder as finer as possible. Some flavor may be lost by heat. Development during grinding. This can be minimized by adopting cryo milling or freeze grinding. It's used in curry powder recipes and in distilleries for preparation of ginger beer. The dehydrated ginger is ground into a fine powder which is then dried further at 80 degrees centigrade for about 30 minutes. After which it must be immediately sealed into HDPE, that is high density polyethylene, or LDPE, that is low density polyethylene, to minimize the loss of aroma and avoid humidity. Ginger drink powder. Mature ginger rhizomes, zingiber of chenille rosacea, with the age of 10 to 12 months, are cleaned in 5 ppm chlorinated water and cut into small pieces. Ginger juice is extracted using a hydraulic press. Evaporation of the ginger juice is prepared or performed in three evaporators, namely traditional pan evaporator, natural circulation evaporator and agitated vacuum evaporator. 
traditional pan evaporator, one and a quarter of the kilogram of the refined sugar plus 1.25 grams of the brown sugar are added to one kg of the ginger juice. The sugar ginger juice is evaporated and crystallized under atmospheric pressure of 100 degrees centigrade for 30 minutes. The concentrated ginger powders are dried in a cabinet dryer at 60 degrees centigrade for one hour. Natural circulation evaporator. 10 kilograms of the ginger juice, 3 degree bricks, is evaporated in a natural circulation evaporator at 85 degrees centigrade under vacuum of 10 mercury. Steam pressure of 10 lbs per inch at temperature of 115 degrees centigrade is used to evaporate ginger juice to 6 degree bricks for 5 minutes. Half of 1 kilogram equivalent to 1 kg ginger juice of concentrate juice is mixed with 1.25 kilograms of refined sugar and 1.25 kilograms brown sugar and crystallized in a pan for 15 minutes. Concentrated ginger powder is dried in the cabinet dryer at 60 degrees centigrade for one hour. Agitated vacuum evaporator. The basic components are required to accomplish evaporation. The evaporator utilized for fluid products contained the following. An evaporation vessel. The evaporation vessel consists of diameter of 0.47 meter, a height of 0.26 meter and a capacity of 40 liters and an agitated paddle of 0.28 meter length with a speed of 50 rpm. A heat source using LPG burner. The LPG consumption is 0.25 kg per hour. A condenser. Water spray designed to use to maintain vacuum in the evaporation vessel. For preparation of ginger bars, ingredients like all-purpose flour, wheat flour, cinnamon, tea leaves, ground ginger, baking soda, salt, dark brown sugar, canola oil, fresh grated ginger and are being used. Firstly, heat the oven at 350 degree Fahrenheit in a mixing bowl. Mix all the ingredients then again, heavy duty standard mixer with whisk attachment. Beat sugar, oil and egg at medium speed until well blended. Add molasses and apple sauce followed by mixing. Add flour mixture and buttermilk alternatively to egg mixture. Beginning and ending with the flour mixture, stir in vanilla and ginger. Spread batter in prepared pan. Bake on center rack at 350 Fahrenheit for 25 to 30 minutes or until a wooden brick inserted in center comes out almost clean. Cool completely in pan on a wire rack cut into squares. However, there are some other methods of bar preparation like blend the ginger pieces, add around 150 ml of boiled and cooled water for each kg of ginger to ease blending in a pre-stylized blender or juicer. Processor followed by filtration of the mixture through a muslin cloth or cheesecloth and collect the filtrate. Dilute the filtrate with boiled and cooled water in a ratio of 1 is to 1 or 1 is to 2 depending on the pungency of the filtrate and also the desired pungency in the end product and measure the volume of diluted filtrate. Add sugar to the filtrate at the rate of 600 grams in 1000 ml filtrate. Cook under medium to low heat until filtrate starts thickening. Dehydrated ginger slices Cut the rhizomes manually or using a vegetable cutting machine into slices of 2 to 3 mm thickness. Dry the slices in a ventilated oven at 55 degrees centigrade for about 18 to 19 hours or until brittle with a moisture content of 6 to 7 percent. Store the dehydrated slices in high density polyethylene that is HDPE bags or laminated low-density polyethylene that is LDBE packages. 
ginger paste. After selection and preparation of ginger rhizomes, cut the ginger into pieces and blend into a thick paste. Ensure that a clean and pre-disinfected blender is used. Rinse blender before use with hot water. Add a little vegetable oil to the paste, 6% volume by weight, that is 60 ml for 1 kg of paste. Cook under low heat for 5 minutes. Stir it continuously to prevent sticking of the paste onto the sides of the pot. Fill the paste in the pre-sterilized jar. Remove air bubbles with the help of spatula or teaspoon, leaving a head space of 5 to 10 mm. Add a teaspoon of warm oil on the surface of the paste before sealing. Ginger in Syrup Cut the ginger pieces into 8 mm by 8 mm to 10 mm by 10 mm cubes, manually or by using a vegetable cutter. Prepare a syrup of 40 degree bricks by adding 600 grams of sugar in 1 liter of water. Check the bricks by refractometer. Heat the syrup up to 85 to 90 degrees centigrade. Monitor with a temperature probe. Fill the cubes in the pre sterilized jars and hot fill with the syrup, leaving a headspace of 5 to 10 millimeter. Posterize at 85 to 90 degrees centigrade for 10 minutes. Cool, label, and store away from direct light. Ginger in brine. Cut the ginger pieces into slices of 5 mm thickness, manually or using a vegetable cutter. Prepare a brine solution to 1 liter of water and 6 grams salt and 0.25 grams citric acid. Boil the brine. Fill the pre-sterilized jars with the ginger slices and hot fill with the brine. Posturize at 85 to 90 degrees centigrade for 10 minutes. Cool, label and store away from the direct light. Ginger wine. Ingredients used for ginger wine are fresh ginger cut into pieces, it should be 1 kg, yeast small pinch, sugar 1 kg, water 1.5 liter. Now cook the ginger pieces in a pressure cooker for 10 minutes. When cold, keep for fermentation along with 34 kg sugar and yeast for 21 days. Every other day the contents are turned. On completion of fermentation, wine is squeezed out from the fermented ginger. To improve the appearance, the remaining 14 kg sugar is burnt to brown color and mixed with the wine. So students, let's now summarize what we have learnt in this module. Fresh ginger is sometimes used in the preparation of ginger wine and the juice is used as beverage. There are few organized and some private companies or the sectors who are engaged in the manufacturing of ginger paste and ginger paste products. There is nearly 5% growth rate per year observed of the product. Processing of ginger is undertaken to dehydrate and for preparing ginger candy. Many products can be manufactured from ginger. Like dehydrated ginger, ginger paste products have very wide ranging applications in many industries like food processing, pharmaceutical, soft drink, meat canning, confectionery, tobacco processing, soap making, and so on. It's therefore necessary to assess market for contemplated products before finalizing the production capacity. There are good export prospects as well. Thank you. We have seen different products made out of ginger in the present module. Now comes next, we have to know 
the important component of the ginger and these are essential oils and oleoresins and this will be discussed in the next module. Thank you.